we make our ready, ready circle, team breath, blah, 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 blah. Who wants to go first? So what we do then is this process is we go one at a time. So you come, you, you step forward in the order that you want. Who wants to go next? Just know that at some point in this process, to be compliant and participate in the circle, you must answer the four statements. You don't have to climb. You must answer the four statements to participate in this activity. You must answer the four statements to be compliant with the program. What you do for your goal is your choice. Choose well. Choose something that works for you. It's gonna all going to look different. So what we do in this process then is we witness that person. That person gets their shining moment in the sun where we're in a ready circle and we listen. We give them up. We turn our body language toward. We listen. What is your goal? Then in that moment, as they climb and whatever it is they do, we attend. If your participants start checking out when the person's climbing or doing their thing, they are, in effect, abandoning the process. They are abandoning their person. They are no longer participating in the program. If they're not focused on the task, they're not participating. Now, how you wrangle them back in is a whole other subject. Three, you acknowledge. Um, and this is what I call the support of choice. And the steps in this process are critical because if you just if you don't do this, you've lost the ability of the team to do anything. If you're truly there for each other, if you're truly participating, you have to witness them in their goals. You have to attend as they climb. You need to acknowledge as they accomplish their stated <laughs> goals. Historically, in challenge courses, when people climb, we don't know specifically what they're doing. So we're cheering and cheering and cheering. Hey, you're almost there. The person's climbing up. They'll stand at the bottom of the pole before they're starting to say, this is my challenge, and I choose it. And they start climbing. And I stand there looking. I'm like, what are you choosing? What's your goal? You didn't tell me what you were going to do. So you're assuming the implied goal is the person's goal. We assume it every day because unless they state specifically their goal is something different, we assume that they're going to catch the bar, go across the beam, step off the zip, and fall off the, the trust fall. What do we know about making assumptions, assessments, interpretations of what somebody else needs? It doesn't work. You can't do that. You need to know specifically. Therefore, we ask. This process is about asking people, what is your goal? How can I support you? Let me pay attention as you do it. So we witness, we attend, we acknowledge. When they hit their easy, hey, nice going. You accomplished your first goal. You just did your easy. Yay. They climb up and they hit their challenge, whatever that is. And they succeed at their challenge. They say, hey, you just hit your challenge. Nice job. You hit your first challenge. You touched the bar. Yay. We celebrate their stated goal. And our voices with, in celebration tell them, you did what you said that you were going to do, and we're happy that you accomplished your goals. Yay, we're happy for you in doing that. And finally, when they come back down, we reform our ready circle, and we stand and we let them tell us their story. And the debrief looks something like this. Cool. Can you tell me what your easy goal was? What was it? Uh, my easy goal was to put on a harness. Was it easy? No. What was hard about it? I really felt the minute I put it on that there was no turning back. OK. Are you OK with that choice it made? Yeah, I really wanted to do the other stuff, so I was able to overcome that anxiety. Great. What was your challenge? I had three challenges. My first challenge was to top the, touch the pole at the top of the ladder. Was it, was, it, was it a challenge? It really was. Was it as hard as you thought it would be? No, that one wasn't so bad. It was actually a little bit easier to do it. OK. And when you started to move again, what happened right then? I got a ooh in my stomach. This is real. I'm about to transfer from here to there. Was that easy? No. Was it a challenge? Yeah. Was it your goal? Yes. Did you do it anyway? Yeah. How do you feel about it? Well, I actually feel pretty good about it. Great. What was your ultimate challenge? My ultimate challenge was to get up and touch the catwalk beam with my hand and then come back down. Did you accomplish your goal? Yes. Did you touch the beam? Yes. What did you choose to do right then? I chose to came back down. 
Okay, was that the right choice for you? Yeah, how did you feel about the choice? I didn't really feel all that good about it. Why? Well, I think I kind of wanted to go on. Okay, all right. And how badly do you, so you want to do more than that original goal? Yeah, okay. Well, what would you do if you went back up again? Uh, well, I think I'd want to get up on the beam and try to leave the thing. Was it, that a choice? Is that something you'd like to try? Yeah. Well, you're still clipped in right now. You want to go right now? No. Okay. Or yes. Great. What do you need before you start? What is your goal now? My goal, restate the goal, my goal is to climb up and stand on the beam and try to take my hand off. Cool. Is that your choice? Yes. Good goal for you? Yep. What do you need? Your support. Good. On the leg. Let's go. They go up, let them do it again. The process of us connecting, the transition, so in that circle, the work that we did in the low elements of being a team and staying in a circle and talking to each other and debriefing and supporting, it gets lost when you go to the high elements unless you take it with you. So by doing the, the, the four statements and the support of choice, we reform that circle. We bring the group back into that process we developed in the low elements, that connection, the connectivity. And now as I step out into the center for my challenge, or step out of the circle and up for my challenge, now I've engaged this supportive group that's taking their cues from me. They know what my goals are. They know what my boundaries are. They know when I say stop, it means something. And my validation comes all of a sudden now, all these people now are cheering me on and they know when to stop. Because without those stated goals, it's one more step, you're almost there. Wow, too bad you didn't make it. You want to try again? We cut out, it cuts out all the patronizing stuff.